Okay, to get our bootstrap up, we simply go to the start of Enzyte and run it. And, um, but we're not going to select the same um, run Enzyte at the very top that we used to. We're going to go down and we're going to select Bootstrap Confidence Interval Construction and run Selected VIT Module. And now we'll get this view to come up and we're going to import some data. We'll just use the LBM data that we've been using all along for the exemplar here. And, um, and then we're going to pick gender again. It's just easy to compare gender. And that's what we've been doing with our other exemplar and the LBM. And get up our dot plot. Now, to get the box plot to come up for this, we'll just go into our analysis. We select median, because we want to look at medians, and we'll record my choices. Now what's going to happen is it's going to create the box plots, and it's going to create the median. So the median for my sample for the males and the females, and we have the difference between those medians. Now that's significant because that basically means that's that whole idea of the median being outside the box of the other and making a call as to whether there's a statistical difference between males and females and there's a 19.58 difference between females and males LBM levels. And what's going to happen is as we resample from this uh, original sample the medians are going to change and as the medians change, so will this 19.58. We're going to get like a confidence interval for that as well. So let's just take a look at what that looks like. Let's just do 20. So you can see that we've got the medians changing and that interval, that line in between, the difference in between those is also changing. So this line here obviously changes as these medians become varied as well. And that's going to create a confidence interval for the differences between the medians. Now if we go down and we do the bootstrap distribution and we do that, say, for a thousand, then we get the graph enzyme to create a distribution. Now that distribution at the bottom is a distribution of the differences between the medians of the male and female resamples. Doing a thousand. And now we've stopped and we'll show the CI. So it's dropping that down, that line comes down to show the point estimate for the difference between the male and female medians. And then it should show me the confidence interval. At this point, what we have is we have a CI, a confidence interval, between the differences in the female and male's medians it wavers somewhere between 16.45 and 22.89. It never has zero in it, and when it never has zero in it, when the confidence interval, when the CI does not have zero in it anywhere, so no, it's not down in here somewhere, then that means that there is a statistical difference between males and females, and now you can confidently say that in the population, of the athletes from the uh, from the sports academy, that males are in fact different, and that they are have higher LBMs than females.